Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotade with the Arena Survival Action Roguelike itself. We are doing something wild here today. I have attempted a lot of runs trying to find legendary weapons, and they have just resulted in no legendary weapons and kind of just a boring run. So I've decided to take it into my own hands and get stupid with it. We're going to literally just start with Excalibur. I have modded in the ability for me to start with this weapon on one armed. Is it going to be extremely overpowered for probably the entire run, but at the very least the first half of the run? Absolutely. But it beats just getting it in, you know, either never finding it or getting it in like the last wave or two. And then we don't really get to learn what is strong about it. So here is the thing. Excalibur, it's, it's a stupid strong weapon. Like, yes, it's a legendary uh, in tier, but it also, it does 200 damage and scales off of 200% melee and 200% HP, just naturally. That's just what it does. It's extremely high damage, but it has a really interesting downside, which is not that big of a downside today. And that is minus three armor for every weapon you have. So that does include Excalibur. So it brings up this interesting scenario with, where if you're not one-armed, then you do have to be, be like, I mean, do I really want to tank my armor all the way down? Probably not. But uh, here's the thing. This is going to be just a very nice, strong, powerful run where we kind of just get to see what's up with Excalibur in the universe where we, you know, are able to get one, right? That's basically going to be the situation. Uh, do I want to even bother with any of this? HP, melee damage. I mean, that's going to be such a huge boost because we get a double that, uh, double this. So this is going to be four flat damage. This is going to be four damage up to, four, or four damage up to eight damage. Yeah, like the fact that, that that jumps up so much. But the thing is, it's an incredibly strong weapon that, I mean, is it going to be fast enough? That's really the whole thing. We are one-armed. It's going to need to be fast enough to cover everything. I imagine it will. I feel like it's going to be an absolutely devastating weapon. And perhaps probably the best-in-slot weapon you could ever find on one-armed is going to be my educated guess. So starting with it is obviously stupid and worth a lot of money. Uh, I'm going to just get really done with it. So that's going to be a 12% damage up, which goes really, really far <laughs> today. I'll get a little bit of armor. Sure, but we'll get some, like... We'll get bag, I suppose. But that's the thing is, it's a it's a very glass cannon weapon that is made less glass cannon on one armed. And the fact that it scales off of 200% of your max HP as well is frankly disturbingly good. But we're going to be doing some stupid, stupid damage right by the end. And, you know, in the future, obviously... I'm not going to just keep doing this. I'll probably do this once for every weapon, like trying to get it on a good weapon that I or a good character to showcase it with. And then after that, you know, if we find it, hopefully, you know, we find it and that'd be great. I get some health. I think it'll be good. Attack speed. I mean, do I want more attack speed at this point? I'll just take some melee damage. We're going to get really stupid with it. Let's go weird ghost. Let's let's get risky. Two weird ghosts. Sure. Boom, bang, boom. Is it dangerous? Yes. It's also, on top of that, it's wave four, which is uh, uh, not a great wave out of early, you know, out of the early waves. It's not a great one to even grab. Oh, boy. Weird ghost on. You know, like, we got bullets potentially coming our way. We have to worry about, like, potential short range since we're melee. So we got a little bit of that going for us. If I were to ever die on this run, it probably would have been this way because of Weird Ghost. Or, yeah, Weird Ghost. Crit damage, or crit chance. It's a 2.5 times crit ratio as well. On top of that. That's crazy, man. Lure is so good. I'll take another Weird Ghost. We'll just get stupid with it. So, you know what I'm realizing? This is Super Chopper. This is... Chopper has 50 melee scaling, 20% health scaling. This has 200, 200. <laughs> and it, I mean, it attacks faster, but like, I don't think it attacks faster than a legendary Chopper, but still, still, it is, it's a holy crap moment. That's for sure. It is actually disgusting. 
But I would say by the time we would get to um, wave, I don't know, like 10, 11, there's a chance we would have a legendary version. Like, it's not that hard to get a legendary version of your weapon on one armed, but then you kind of plateau. So the thing is, if this weapon is really meant to be like a grab one of these and then, you know, like see what you do beyond that. I don't know. It's it's just such a one-armed weapon. It's not even funny. Obviously could be good on like chunky as well. I'll say sure. Nope. Sure. Obviously could be very, very good on chunky. Some more armor. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Me the damage crit down. I mean Just because we get so much, I, I just want to. Why not? Uh, crit chance sounds good with the 2.5 times crit ratio. It bonkers. I will say there's also a new patch out today, which, um, buffed a couple things, nerfed a couple things. Unfortunately, our beloved claw did get kind of gutted. As it, you know, I'm not going to say as it should have, but boy, it was like... I feel like it shouldn't have been nerfed as bad and Fist should have gotten a buff because basically every time I talked about Claw, I talked about it in relation to how much it invalidates the existence of Fist. But it sounds like that was, it seems like that was taken as that means Claw needs to be destroyed. When in reality, I was like, probably Claw needs to be brought down a little bit and Fist needs to be brought up was honestly kind of my take on it. But hey. I'll go for more damage and we'll get the range after. Recycling machine. Sounds good. Hatchet got buffed. Hatchet got buffed, which is awesome. It has a uh, full 1.0 scaling on the melee now. And it also has a cooldown reduction buff, which is fantastic. Um, as, you, as it levels up more and more, the cooldown, the attack speed cooldown goes down even more. Which means it's probably like ultra disgusting on one armed or like you know i was gonna say or on wildling but no not the thing is everyone was saying yeah, it's a wildling weapon it's like eh. i know that you unlock it by winning the run with wildling but i don't think that makes it a wildling weapon i know it's primitive that helps it's not bad but now it's less of a wildling weapon than it was because the upgrades of it are so good Leveling it up to legendary is so good. So it's not even really that much of a wildling weapon anymore. So it's just a better all-around weapon. Like, it's it's solid. I think it needed a little bit more love still, and I'm glad it got it. <laughs> I mean, we're critting for a thousand. Why am I talking about hatchet and wildling? It's because I'm critting for a thousand, all right? Okay, what are we at? So we're at 433. This is going to be 12 damage up, which is 24 damage up. And then, I guess, a little bit of our percentage damage playing into that as well. Max HP sounds lovely. That's an... Or, you know what? 466? Yeah, we'll just do that instead. <laughs> Broken Mouth is great. If you were coming into this one with any semblance of figuring out, is this weapon strong? The answer is, duh. Duh. And extra when you start with it. So, like, it's obviously the place where we would really get a gauge for truly how good it is would be probably more like wave 20. Like, that, that's going to be, like, a more realistic way of looking at it. But again, the downside of this weapon innately is the glass cannon nature of it. Like, if you are not killing, you are getting, you are getting killed on this weapon. So, like, I'm glad we're one-armed. I'd like to try it on Chunky at some point, too. Like, maybe we'll try and, uh, try and find it. But here's the thing. It's like, do I like just starting with a free win weapon? No. But for the love of God, I, I swear, I, I recorded, like, four runs in a row of me trying to find the legendary weapons, and it just resulted in a full episode of me going, like, well, here, I'm buying more luck. I hope it shows up. Oh, it oh it didn't. Okay. All right. Well, then this is just a boring nothing run. <laughs> right? It's just... So, it, it. I just wanted to go for it. We have 710 damage. 
just want to see the new stuff and the thing is like I've always kind of wanted to do that with the uh, the epic weapons and stuff too but it's sort of it's sort of tough oh boy this is perhaps going to be like it's got to be the highest damage melee weapon in the game right let alone high uh, maybe highest damage in the game it's probably the highest single single damage weapon and it comes with a super interesting downside, which I, I do really, really like. You know, we do have the minus three armor. If you ever take, um, I mean, if you don't know, if you ever take two legendary weapons, you get a huge attack or uh, max HP damage or max HP downgrade. And here's the thing. Excalibur gets double penalized by that. If you have minus 20 HP on Excalibur, it loses 40 damage, not to mention whatever you have for um, percentage damage as well. But I think right here, you're starting to see what is kind of the uh, the elephant in the room of the situation is you still need to make that weapon hit all of the enemies, right? Like, as good as that damage is, if it's not hitting an enemy, it's not killing an enemy. Like, it, things could still, ooh, things could still go bad. I don't expect them to, but they could. Or percentage damage. We don't, we don't need it. I get more health. I'll get more speed. I'll get a little bit more speed. I mean, we already have our weapon. Let's let's compare it here. I mean, I mean, I mean, dang. Like, I know it's not a legendary, but I mean, dang. Spicy sauce is really good. Community support. We don't really need more attack speed. We certainly don't need lumberjack shirt. We're killing the trees in one no matter what. But yeah, community support's kind of like, eh, today. I probably should have taken the other alien eyes. Oh, well. Alien eyes, alien eyes, alien eyes. It's gonna, I was going to say it's going to seal the show from my uh, my weapon. But I don't know, man. I think that maybe it can still be the main star of the show doing 2,400 damage. I think it might still be the star. And the thing is, it is still it is still one armed. As good as, like I said, as good as the weapon you have is, as strong as it is, as much funny damage it do, it's only really relevant to be doing a thousand damage on mini bosses and bosses, right? Like anything over, I don't know, it, it, like 300, 300, 400 starts to get a little bit redundant. It's kind of like when you. You know, you take a, a vitamin, like a vitamin D tablet or something like that, and it's like, gives you 10,000% of your daily vitamin D. You're buying expensive urine, you know? Like, and to an extent, sometimes it's bad. <laughs> you know, it's just like, it's not necessarily going to help you more to have more than your daily recommended. The daily recommended percentage, the 100% of your daily vitamin D in this scenario being enough, a, a, an enemy's HP bar, right? I would say a, a, you could qualify it as probably the health of a tentacle. The health of a tentacle enemy is probably, I would say, 100% of your daily vitamin D. I think we can take this after taking the other one and be fine. Anything more than that is just silly. Like, that, the only time it ever helps you is on the mini bosses, which boy, boy did it. He died very quick. But yeah. And there we are. But yeah, I don't know. On on the thing, it, on the same, <laughs> the same simile, same metaphor. Uh, it, it is like. In the same way that sometimes it's actively harmful, it can be actively harmful to get an obscene amount more of your daily vitamins because it just makes your kidneys have to do a lot more work. Um, it's it's not. I don't. Know, I'm not. I'm not. We're not getting into full doctor talk, but like that. Hey, theoretically, you don't need that much. It just means your kidneys have to do extra work. Is it that big of a deal? Maybe. Maybe not. But in this situation, in this metaphor, it's you wasting money on that instead of buying a stat that matters like attack speed like health like armor etc etc diploma is better than it used to be 
but it's still not that good. Why the hell does it have? It has, it has 20 percent experience. I mean, like, is it a good engineering item? Yeah. But I'm just gonna say no to it. It's point six flat melee. 1056. We should get. We should just get more percentage at this point. Oh, that's right. This is another change. This may look like a nerf. I am going to go ahead and go out on a limb and say this might be a buff to luck to luck runs. I've always said this. I think it could be. We'll, it, we'll finally have the ability to find out. Baby Elephant is a rare now, which may sound weird, may sound bad, but it's not that much more expensive. It like, I think it barely got a price increase. But high luck runs find a lot of blue items. So... It's probably just going to be good. More that, more that, more tree, more that, more this, more that, more this, more that. Okay. Chop, 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 chop. Yeah, 3,500. As cool as it is. <laughs> as cool as it is, and it is cool. It might as well be 400 damage. Until we get to that boss. When we get to that boss, we got... Maybe we got a stew going. This isn't a horde wave, is it? No. But, like, it's... As far as making this run stronger goes, I really think the best course of action would be uh, buying health, because it is it is damage, and it's quite a bit of it. You know, like... It makes me wish that... Uh, that Chopper had less melee scaling. And... I don't know, maybe... Maybe even none. And, uh, more health scaling. It's just interesting. Go ahead and say, nah. Sure. Do I need all this stuff? No. I. To be clear, I'm going over it. I'm just trying to keep ourselves sort of true to the weapon here. Which is to say, I want to be glass cannon. I don't really want to remove my crit. I want to be glass cannon. But I am going to buy health because part of the cannon scales on health. So I want most of my survivability to come from that. I wouldn't mind a little bit of a, a tentacle. It's a nice aggressive way of getting your, your healing in. But yeah, wave 13. This is kind of where we would theoretically have a legendary tier weapon. Whether or not we'd have a legendary weapon or not you know, would remain to be seen. But whoop, this is kind of the place where having this weapon could happen. Now, we do get the whatever 500 bucks it would cost for free. That is kind of a irreplaceably big element of getting it as a starting weapon. And you never have to worry about buying the other weapons. You never have to get anything to do a pivot. Let's go through the middle. Like, all of that jazz. More knockback? I'm gonna say nah. Just some more max HP. Gets dumb. Crit chance. Potatoes good. I don't want the HP regen down. Sure. Wolf helmet. Helmet's not bad. Hamlet. <laughs> Um, 19, 2,100. Oh, my boy. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, my boy. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. What's my speed? Four? Seems like we should maybe have more. But yeah, getting a triangle power is going to be a little bit suspect, I would say. Could be a problem for actually, it could actually decrease our damage. But hey, like I said, it kind of adds to the spice of it. Because we are one arm, so we would lose our health or our damage twice as fast. Did my health just change? Oh, because of, um. I have padding. 5,300. I kind of want to see what happens. 5,200. We lose like 100 damage every time we get hit. 
kind of seeing it in action here. Again, not that it really matters. Don't die. I just wanted to see what it would look like. You know what? Sure. Where do I have 20 dodge from? Two of those... I mean, I'll take it. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's so dumb. So dumb. All right. I'm... Oh, boy. I am very slow, but if you walk towards me, you are gonna explode. I'm sorry to say. You hit me, I'll heal it right back up. It all is kind of, like, counterproductive. You know? Going for the HP regen with, um... The slow speed HP regen angle with... Triangle of Power. It's redundant. Or not redundant. It's worse than redundant. It's kind of, like, dissynergistic. To be like, yeah, I'm gonna slow myself down and we'll just heal up all the damage we take. With the item that's like, just don't take damage, forehead. But, it's working out fine. We'll just get more dodge. And look at how much we do get to heal. Oh my hell. Yeah, see, this is the part of the run where it's getting back to being like, I don't know, still immortal. Still a mortal run. More health. I'm going to probably grab a little bit of speed, if I'm going to be real. Another alien eyes. Sure. Metal plate, I guess. Sharp bullet could have been fine. But yeah, I think a little bit of speed to fix this back up. I just wanted I wanted padding. It's not that I wanted the speed down for the HP up. I wanted the second padding. How much is this doing? Alienized one-armed has always been good, too. So it's doing like 200, 270. Critting for 544, which on a normal run would look really cool. But look, it, it is one-shotting stuff. Which may uh, hammer home my point a little bit more. The fact that that 280, uh, 280 or the crits on it are one-shotting everything as well. Maybe, just maybe, doing 6,000 damage is not necessary. So, I don't know. That's, that's kind of like... I'm not going to say I didn't expect to come to this thought process today, but like... As good as it is, I don't think you... Oh, my God. No, I don't want to take more speed down right now before I fix my other problem. As good as it is, and it is good. I could take wheat, but I don't want to. Okay, just fix my speed up a little bit. Tardigrade will be nice. Helpful. Hedgehog, we could. Stop with the padding! Stop with the padding! Hunting trophy is now limited three. The f <laughs> it's kind of fitting that uh, 1.0 will mark the end of the hunting trophy change era. I'll also say that how many runs were you getting more than three hunting trophies anyways? I don't know. It almost seems like more of like a rules consistency change than a balance change only being able to get three by the time you get three how late are you in the run like how much is it going to really do for you and if you're on a run where you can get three hunting trophies and it's valuable you're not really going to notice i don't think you're going to notice the difference between getting three hunting trophies or four or god forbid if you were able to get five you know, it's not going to matter it's just not going to matter if, if there's any problem I have with the change, it's basically just like, well, why even make it? Like, it is basically the, the only problem I would have. Like, why, why even bother? But, like, who cares? Uh, okay, what are we at right now? 2,500? Yep. Do I need this damage? No. Do I want it to do 3,000? Yes. 3,000, 3,200, 3,200. Good deal. You evaporated. 
I shall do 10,000 and smite thine self down into thine ground. As much damage as it is, it's being done to one guy. I think that this, the craziest thing of all, th th this is the craziest thing. I think that this is, ooh, I think what I'm about to say is true. As godly as it is, it's godly. I think that this run maybe could have, well, I mean, I guess it still could die at this point, but I think this run maybe could have died without the help of alien eyes. Like, that's the crazy thing. That's the, like, no. But, like, but, yeah. I'm not going to say it's, like, it's so Excalibur overrated, but it's, like, it's more like one-armed is, uh, he's a tricky beast. He's a tricky beast. Certainly don't need that. I would love 45 range. Another triangle of power. Boy, howdy. What could go wrong? All right. We just got to live this. If we live this, the boss dies in a second. Yeah, we're doing 400 on our alien eyes. We should have gotten um, sharp bullet, which is a weapon I still haven't taken yet. I'm not attacking that fast. Do we need this money? No. Do I want this money? Yes. Is it risky to grab that money? Yes. So we lose... We lose quite a bit of damage, which, again, does not really matter as far as the sword goes, but it kind of matters. We're doing 375 on our alien eyes now. That kind of matters there. I can't really get out of this corner, though. This is the craziest thing of all. Look at this. Look at this. Huh. We're learning a lot today. I mean, again, the correct thing to do would be to uh, not go not go glass cannon with it. But yeah, I, I think it I think it really shows what's kind of crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> about this character. Oh, we lose... Uh, okay, so what? We lose 6%, so we lose 12% damage every time we get hit. That's so funny. Alrighty. Well, let's go kill the bosses in... Like, three slices. Bizarre run. Very informative, though. Very, very informative. I think that it's a fantastic weapon, but it's like as much power as it brings. Like you have to think on another character. If you have Excalibur in amongst other weapons, you would get minus 18 armor, which is so lot. That's so much. Um, minus 18 armor does, does a world of difference for you. And the amount of value it brings, I would say is, it's weird. It, it's, it only helps you with a certain part of the game. It's basically, if you get Excalibur, it's basically like buying your ability to not care about mini bosses and bosses. That's what you're doing. You're buying your ability to not care about them. But it's not it's not so fast that it's extremely a big deal on others. Uh, it would probably it would probably help you with like tentacles or chargers, things like that. But would it be worth the 18 armor penalty on a different character? I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. Very cool, very fun, very wild, very dumb, though. I had a good time with it, but yeah, it, it truly is amazing. Like, did it, it did exactly kind of what I thought, which is the first 12 waves, they were kind of a joke. And by kind of a joke, I mean they were a complete joke. But then when we got to the part of the run where we would normally get it, it's not as free of a win then as you would think. And like how much, you know, survivability and damage and everything were we afforded by... Uh, you know, not having to buy it, eh, probably a decent amount. But I would say the way to do it, if you get that on one armed in the future, I would say basically the second you have it, just buy health and armor. Like genuinely, I think that that would be the that would be my recommended strategy. If you're on a run in the wild, you're playing as one armed. It shows up in the shop on wave twelve or something like that. I would buy it and then immediate, immediately pivot to not buying like anything else anymore for damage maybe grab some percentage damage right i would say a different story on other characters 
uh, depending on what you have. Like maybe if you had five choppers and an Excalibur, maybe maybe still go health and go for that route. But it's hard to say. It's it's a really strong weapon that has a really obvious flaw, which I think is fun. Alas, alas, that is that. That's gonna do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelike some more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.